we're gonna go over the dump station procedures here. Um, every dump station is gonna be a little different, but it's all the same concept. See, I got our bucket down there with the with the hoses in it. Uh, right here is a water hose. To dump the black tanks, you'll need a water hose. So when you pull up to a dump station, right here where that, that white sticker is, that's the front gray tank. And then over here, the two white stickers is the black and gray tank for the back. So you wanna either centrally locate them, well, we've got plenty of hose, but you don't have to run the hose too far. So I've got this one pulled up here where it's direct to the black and gray tank in the back. But I got plenty of hose to get up front. So let's hook it up. So first thing, wear gloves. These are probably not the right gloves because they're cloth, they're cotton, but a rubber glove would be best. Now if you do it right and you get lucky, you're not getting anything on your hands. But use gloves just in case. Okay, so we took the cap off. See it swinging there. It takes sometimes it can take some muscle to get that thing turned off. But before you take it off, make sure those handles, the black on the left and the gray on the right, make sure they are shut. <laughs> you don't want to know what happens if they're open and you take the cap off. You will get nasty. So make sure those are shut, take the cap off, plug your hose in. And then right here is the sewer. See the clear elbow right there? We're gonna, we're gonna look at that as the uh, junk comes out. Up next is the water hose hookup to flush the tank. Okay, so we've hooked this green hose and there's a green hose in the, in the box, in the bin that goes with the sewer stuff. You wanna use a green hose for this only. Do not use it to bring water into the camper. So what I'm gonna do, we always do always do the black tank first. So we're gonna pull the lever on the black tank down there. Then I'm gonna run over there and turn the water on and that will flush out the tank. So this will be a neat little trick holding a camera. So let's try it. Okay, we're gonna pull it. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna turn the water on. Now we got water running into the tank. And if you're squeamish, turn away. So right now you can see it's blue. That's from the drop-ins that we put in the toilet. So we're gonna wait for that water to turn clear. Okay, so now the water is uh, running clear. So that means we've got everything out, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it run for another 30 seconds or so, just to get everything out. Okay. It's been running for about 30 seconds. It's clear. Now the water that's coming through here right now is from the water hose. The water hose is shooting water into the tank and it helps flush out the tank. All right, so we're gonna go turn the water off. Okay. And then we're gonna come back and Wait for the water to stop. Okay, the water stopped. I'm just going to grab the hose here and kind of force anything that's left over. Oops. Force everything that's in the hose. Done with the black tank. Water's off. You can go ahead and disconnect it now. Because you only use, I'll have to do this with the with both hands. But you only use this for the black tank only. You don't use it for the grays. This right here is putting water into the black tank. So if you don't pull the black tank lever and you're filling it filling up with water, it will back up into the toilet into the bathroom, flood the camper, not good. So it's very important to remember that. 
Okay, so I've taken the green hose off. Uh, always just do that just for, just to be sure. Take it out when you're done with the black tank. Once you're done with that, we will pull the gray tank lever. And this gray tank back here is for the uh, shower and the bathroom sink. So we'll wait till that water is all gone. Then we'll clear the hose of all the uh, water and we'll move to the front. So some campsites have their own sewer. And if you have that, that's great. You just don't have to worry about pulling over to a, a tank, a, a, a dump station. Those are all, all always great. So now I'm gonna show you a video in just a second of what it looks like to have both of them hooked up at the same time and go into a drain. Okay, so if you're lucky enough to have your own dump station sewer uh, at your campsite, this is how you hook it up. You got your gray tank here, got a hose for this one. And then we got a Y that goes into the black and gray tank. You set it up like this, it goes right into the sewer. So in here, you will find, you'll see this in the video, you'll see a Y connector. It's already got this little attachment on it. So you'll have off this Y here, you'll have one going to the sewer and the other one will be going to the tank up front. So there's plenty of hose for that. This right here, you can see how it's tapered. You put that on the ground and spread it out to uh, keep the hose pointing downhill. Okay, so now we've dumped the gray tank and we've cleared the water out of the hose. Make sure all the water's out of there. Now we're gonna make sure we shut the gray tank. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Turn that off there, a little drip. And uh, some aroma comes out. <laughs> I'm telling you, just pay me the money and I'll do this for you. This is a dirty job. So now we're gonna move to the front. So we're up to the front now, the front gray tank. I had to put another section of hose on there to reach. We're plugged in. Pull the lever. And we're dumping. Okay, so the water has pretty much stopped. So we're gonna come down here before we take it off and lift the hose and just walk it down all the way to the drain. You know, the reason why you do the black first is because the gray tank water isn't as dirty, obviously. And it'll help clean out some of that waste material. trapping this hose. Make sure you do this before you... Alright, we got it all out. And again, make sure the uh, the tank is closed, the lever is pushed in. And when you get ready to, <laughs> as I said before, take off that cap, make sure that that's pushed in. Sometimes going down the road, the vibration causes it to open. If that happens, take that cap off very carefully because as soon as you take it off it's gonna swoosh the crap out at you so and that concludes the tutorial on dumping the tanks the dirty part of camping